everyone welcome to my channel and my newest video thank you for clicking on it hope you all are well today we are going to do a flip through this is going to be a flip through of yam puffs stuff a coloring book it's 24 brand new yam puff illustrations for all your coloring needs it is a super adorable coloring book i think it is just absolutely precious um, it does have a little bit of a creepy side to it, but it's kind of like the cute creepy. Uh, you'll see as we get further. This was done back in, uh, copyrighted in 2015 by Yasmin Eldahan. It says over here, when coloring, I recommend for you to place a thick and or bleed proof piece of paper behind the page you are working on, commonly known as a blotter page. This will prevent any color from leaking onto the subsequent pages and also save them from getting any dents or marks. The pages are all single sided so you can use a variety of mediums freely. Crowns, gel pens, colored pencils, alcohol based markers, regular markers, and more will all work. Happy coloring from Yampuff. This is all the social media where you can connect with the artist. They're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. Uh, they also have shops on Etsy, Redbubble, and Zazzle. And here we go. There's little things that are written on the back of each page that you can read. You know what, I'll read them, why not? It says, I've always had a fascination with fairies, delicate wings, an affinity to nature, and of course, pretty hair. I imagine this cheeky little fairy as sort of a spring sprite, full of energy and cheerfulness. Oops. And then there's my obsession with mermaids. As a little girl, my head was always filled with girly things like mermaids, fairies, winged people, and princesses of all kinds. I never quite outgrew my love for magical pretty girls. Okay, because that was a mermaid. Gotcha, gotcha. So on the back of each page, she writes a little, I'm assuming it's a she, writes a, well, yeah, because it, okay, because Yasmin is a female. Okay, so she writes on the back of each page um, a little bit about why she decided to draw that picture. See, now that's, that's just adorable. And that's cute. That, I believe, is the girl from the cover. There, I'll zoom you guys in just a little so you can see better. I like that, how that's blacked out like that. That's kind of cool. See, that's adorable. See, I'm all about the cutesy. And these are really big spaces, so if you have something like Crayola Twistable Crowns, this would be a good way to use those. No. Uh-oh, she's not happy. That is not a happy face. Let's 
That is a very busy page. That's kind of kawaii-ish. Aww, she's sad. Okay, and these are other books back here by Yampoff. They have a color chart, two color chart books that you can get. And then, of course, just a blank page. And like I've said a million times, if it were me, I would tear that out and use it as a blotter page for this book. This is the back, which you saw the picture inside. Looks just like that. Here is this information in case you need it. And that is Yam Puff's stuff. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. I hope that it inspired you to get this book if you already have it. Uh, let me know down in the comments and tell me what your favorite picture that you've colored in it so far. Um, please like this video. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. Share the video with your friends so that they can get more people into the coloring community and they can experience the fun of coloring in this book. Um, if you're already subscribed, don't forget to hit the notification bell. So that way you will be aware of when I upload new content. And with all of that business out of the way, I wish you all the best. Hugs and love. Bye.